my beloved Kabayan and my Canadians, friends of SMCC here and abroad, my dear stakeholders, benefactors, and sponsors. Today, we celebrate the 72nd Foundation Anniversary of our institution, the St. Michael College of Karaga. So St. Michael has gone a long, long way. And no doubt, God has blessed his MCC not only with his presence, but with so many blessings that his MCC needs. No doubt, therefore, that what we have today as an institution only speaks of the fact that God was always with us and has given us his blessings. Perhaps you are attuned to the theme of this celebration as MCC, the light of the world, the soul of the earth. This sounds very familiar, but it needs to be given another chance, not only to be viewed by us, not only to accompany us during the celebration, but to guide us what a proper Christian and a genuine Amitalinian should be. I would acknowledge that we are only celebrating this anniversary celebration for only three days. And even the activities, the fun fairs, are limited. But to my mind, it does not matter at all. After all, every founding celebration must be an expression of our thanksgiving to God and to remember all those people past or present who have helped this MCC what it is today. To them we also owe our gratitude and to them also we offer our gratitude. Their sacrifices indeed were for us a legacy to continue the sacrifices and do our share to make MCC what it should be according to the very mind and plan of God. So let me stress the fact that this celebration is an expression of our gratitude to God in-depth celebration. That's why this celebration would be meaningless if we do not hold it, remembering God therefore and to be given our due gratitude. So to be light and salt of the earth is a very big task. But somehow God could enlighten this to us because 
is a with us becomes himself our empowerment. We are empowered by God. Therefore, no amount of fear, no amount of odds in a given COVID-19 will impede us to express too well our gratitude to Him. Therefore, I give this message with a sense of urgency that each of us in becoming light of the world and salt of the earth becomes a living testimony of God's actual presence and life in each one of us. So I hope our celebration today will be for us a legacy to be left behind by all of us. A legacy that we have expressed genuinely our gratitude to God. So participate in this celebration with a sense of thanksgiving. Otherwise, we'll be released in our obligation to acknowledge God's magnanimous blessings and help. So today, I would say that we must be happy. This celebration, a celebration of life, because any celebration that would mean gratitude is also a celebration of life. After all, God has given life to each of us, has given life to his MCC, has given his blessing, no doubt, until now, and I suppose, until the end of time. Well, that is our vocation to be a living testimony of God to everyone, to guide each one and also especially those who are in of our own life, our loving action, and of course our compassionate hearts for God this kind of person, almighty and worthy of grace and thanksgiving. To all I would say, 